What's going on, everyone, and welcome back to The Real Talk. John and Audrey here, back in the, again with another review, and that's going to be for Halloween, the 2018 one. I kind of realized there's like three movies now called Halloween, but obviously it was, this one's directed by David Gordon Green and starring Jamie Lee Curtis and a bunch of other people. Uh, so, Audrey, what's up? <laughs> hey, I know. Sorry. I was being quiet there real quick. I was trying to take care of something. But what's up? How are you doing? Good, good. And how about yourself? Better. No longer dying. It's actually really hot here again. It's like 75 degrees. Well, I mean, that means you're not going to get sick anytime soon. But, Audrey, we both actually had the opportunity to see the same movie. So that's why we're doing this review. <laughs> yes. Um, so, Audrey, I want to start with you real quick. Um, and for those of you watching, um, it's going to be spoilers. So if you guys haven't seen the film, uh, please go watch it. You guys should. Um, spoiler, you know, we're kind of already recommending it. But, yeah, go watch the movie and then come back and join in the conversation with us. So, Audrey, what were your expectations going into the film? Like, were you looking forward to it? Like, were you a fan? Are you a fan of the series or? Yeah, um, I was definitely looking forward to it. I am a fan of the series. Um, hold on. I have like some. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Though. I know I, I muted my microphone. <laughs> Damn it, John. You're all freaking me out. I can hear it. <laughs> Like when you when you shut it off, I can hear it. So that's why I was like, wait, did I disconnect? Oh man, that was me. Oh my bad. <laughs> Anyways, so um, so yeah, I am a fan of the series. Um, I really really um like Michael Myers and the whole you know story. To be honest though, I haven't seen all of them because I feel like some yeah. of them I just you know, like I think there was one called something the witch. What was it called? something yeah something there's like witch. early ones they're like weird as ones like when they when they got to like four and five i think they're yeah like kind of weird or even the third one i think but the witch one i didn't even bother watching because that one didn't even involve michael myers it was going into something completely different so i was like oh whatever um but yeah so to answer your question yes i am a fan and i was excited for this movie especially because we were gonna have jamie lee curtis you know coming back as her role as Laura, um, as Laura, Lori, Lori. 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 Yeah. I was like, wait, Lori or Laura? <laughs> but yeah, so um, so yeah, I was excited. What about you? Were you looking forward to it? Yeah, I was. Um, simply because like I feel like if they were gonna remake this movie, they're not just gonna like you know do another like they're not just gonna reboot it and just half-ass it, you know? Because it's Michael Myers, it's Halloween, it's 2018, you know? Uh -huh. um so and then plus i was really intrigued because it was uh david Gor gordon green and uh danny mcbride writing it which usually they do like com comedy stuff so i was like okay like i was kind of <laughs> worried but at the same time i was like no nah, they wouldn't they wouldn't just do that you know and have like okay let's just get comedy guys to write something like halloween you know right uh, and then we got you know the announcement that jamie lee curtis was coming back so i was on board um and as far as me and the, uh, like my thoughts on the series uh obviously like everybody else i love the first one i think it's a classic um and i've seen the first i mean the second one like a really long time ago like maybe in the past like five years uh -huh. i don't re really remember it but i remember halloween h2o yeah i think there's another one called resurrection if, if yeah not, if it, h2o is not resurrection <laughs> but i have I'm not, I'm not like a big fan of the series i haven't seen all of them like something like friday 13th or uh, nightmare on elm street uh, -huh. uh but for some reason like i just wanted another michael myers movie and like it's been a while they're not just gonna put out crap especially because we've had remakes already of friday the 13th and a nightmare on elm street and they didn't work and they just fell flat so i was like they hopefully they've learned from that and i don't even know if if you know this but i i don't know if it's official or anything i've, I've seen it a few times like on twitter but it's it's been saying it's been said that like lebron james wants to reboot friday the 13th <laughs> oh god it's really? like, what the heck like maybe he's that's so random i know that's random as hell because <clears throat> that's why he moved to the lakers because he wanted to be here um you know close to like i think he has like a studio or something which is making space jam 2 so he wanted to get mm -hmm. like closer to that side of things but anyways um so maybe he saw halloween and said hey you know maybe this is how friday the 13th should be done um but yeah anyways yeah to answer my own question i was anticipated uh for it and yeah i'm gonna say right away i wasn't really you know let down by it i actually really liked it 
Yeah, me too, for sure. Um, I wasn't let down at all. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was. Like, it was a fun movie to watch. Like, it was just fun, I think. Yeah. For me, it was just, like, from start to finish, it was really entertaining and really fun. Um, there were some parts, of course, like, not, like, there's no movie that you're gonna know it's gonna be, like, perfect, but um, there were some parts that yeah. was kind of, like, <laughs> kind of <laughs> cringeworthy, you know? Yeah. But, I mean, overall, I think it was a good good reboot <clears throat> like it's no. an actual reboot that i can get behind <laughs> no yeah definitely especially after like the rob zombie one i don't know if you like that one see that's another one i saw uh i saw that one i didn't see the sequel but i don't know i just <laughs> wasn't really into it like it wasn't bad by all means i just i just wasn't into it you know what i'm saying like it didn't bug me it wasn't like the greatest but it wasn't like horrible where i'm just like oh yeah you know but um but yeah i agree it was a, it was a good reboot for sure no yeah definitely um and i think you hit it right on the nose like it obviously does have some of like the cliche horror movie um stuff you know going on and uh i had a lot of times where i was just like rolling my eyes like oh okay this is where they're going with this you know <laughs> um and like i told you before we started i actually have a lot of things on on you know on the my list here because i actually wrote it down to, on the things uh -huh. that i kind of didn't really like um <laughs> but i feel like the things that i really liked I liked so much that you know kind of propelled it for me to okay cool you know i i would want to see this again and i highly recommend it um so i'm gonna start off with a few things i didn't like um like i already said there's some horror cliche moments and stuff like that and also some things that kind of just don't pan out um i think everybody's going to be talking about the twist so i kind of want to talk about it like i kind of saw that coming <laughs> like that new dr loomis character oh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like how he was like i for, I don't know. I feel like from the beginning he was like just so in fa like he was like a fan girl. Yeah, like he exactly like he was like a fan girl or fanboy or whatever <laughs> of Michael. So I was like, nah. And he was even kind of like he had some dialogue saying like, oh man, like I hope they treat him well or something. You know, it's like yeah. oh, so I had a feeling he had to had something to do with him getting out of the bus. You know, and yeah. like surprisingly he was the only one left alive. You know, yeah. Um, but I mean, I, he didn't bother me, but uh, up until that point, I just kind of saw that coming. And I actually thought for a second that he was going to be Michael Myers or something because he put on the mask. I was like, holy that's shit. A, that's what I was going to tell you. Honestly, that part bugged me. Like when that yeah. when when that part, um, when they shut that part, I was like, oh, hell no. Like I was like, how dare him yeah, put on Michael's just, mask. It was, it was cheesy. I didn't like that part. Like for me, the movie just stopped. And, and I was yeah. kind of like, fuck, like, are they really going to go with this? <laughs> but obviously he just dies. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, they don't really go anything, go anywhere with that, that plot line because the guy just dies in the next scene. Michael just, like, steps yeah. on his head and just, like, his brain is everywhere. Like, damn. I was like, Oh, yeah, no. that was cool. That's something I actually liked. And I have it. <laughs> that's the first thing I have it written down. The, the, my positives or whatever was, like, the kills. I thought they were done oh, pretty, yeah. pretty well. The kills oh. were on point for sure. Yeah, um, but yeah, I just, I mean, there's another, like, the whole podcast people in the beginning, um, like, I, I actually like the beginning, you know, where he, they mm -hmm. go and, they, like, the guy's holding up the mask. It seemed kind of, yeah. like, cheesy, but I don't know, for some reason I liked it, because it all of a sudden just didn't cuts to, like, the opening credits, and you get Carpenter's yeah. music, which I, I fucking love. <laughs> but, yeah. um, uh -huh. but yeah, like, I don't know, I feel like that was just thrown in there, you know, and, like, I they was just, surprised they that died. they died so fast. Yeah, I was surprised that they died so fast. Like, I honestly thought that maybe um, their story was going to go somewhere. But then I realized that their their um, place in the movie was just for Michael to get his mask back. Like, that's all they were yeah. there for, literally. <laughs> yeah. They were just the ones that were going to give it to him. For some <laughs> reason, um, I thought, like, well, obviously, the girl died. And, but when the guy died, I, I felt like he was just kind of, like, he just got knocked out or something, you know? No, dude. He was like, no, I know he got like <laughs> brutally, like you know, he was his head, like was just you know. But I don't know, like the way he, they show him dying, I felt like he just like knocked out or something. He was gonna come back to play like a little bit later or something. But yeah, he mm -hmm. apparently he died. Um, so yeah, again, like those people kind of just were there and then they just went away. Um, I thought at least one of them would survive. You know, that kind of like a lot of horror movies. Um, yeah. But also something I didn't really like was the whole granddaughter thing. Like I feel like that was just there for. Like the whole school yeah. stuff, the prom stuff, the boyfriend stuff, and even that thing at the end. Like it was kind of funny that guy that like kind of went for the kiss after the whole breakup. 
Yeah. And uh, that was another cliche moment. Like, ah. You know, there's always that guy <laughs> trying to swoop in right after the breakup. Like, come on, you know. But I guess they were just there, like, uh, yeah. her and her friends, you know, to for, like, Michael to have other rict- victims, you know. Um, but, yeah. That was... Know, there's... Huh? That was another. That was another one that I didn't really like because they kind of like gave like a way that like I guess I thought they were gonna expand more like on the family of the boyfriend because they kind of like throw that in there that he came from like a bad family, and I was just like okay like, but he didn't even stay her boyfriend like he literally like just disappeared Cheated on her and yeah yeah exactly and that, that's the thing I thought that was gonna come to play like maybe he was gonna come back later on that night like hey like you know like I'm rescue sorry her. No, like, or, or like, I thought he was gonna show up and say like he was sorry or something, and then he was gonna get killed, you know? Mm-hmm. That guy, yeah. that's the last we see of him in the fucking prom or whatever. Yeah, um, he just disappears. And um, I think other than that, I would have loved to see more of Michael and Lori. You know, like that that would have been cool, like a little bit more of a, not a battle, but kind of a little bit more of them two, like I guess together or something. Mm-hmm. Um, but is there anything else that st- stood out to you? You're kind of like, hey, like this didn't work for me. Um, I'm trying to think. That didn't work out. Um, well, if you know, like I said, I also didn't like the fact that like they went that route because I knew that it was gonna happen that way. I was like, I fucking know that the daughter is gonna be the one that's gonna shoot him or something. You know? Yeah. Like she's gonna step up to the plate. And I mean, it was cool, but I was just kind of like, no, like I kind of wanted um, Lori to be the one to like jab like end it, yeah. But whatever. I mean, I guess she technically did, but I don't know. I kind of saw that coming. I was like, oh, the daughter's gonna step into the plate, and then she's gonna be the one that's gonna like end him. That's exactly yeah. what happened. But no, like you said, <clears throat> I mean, it did have some things that I was kind of unhappy with, but overall, it was still very enjoyable. Yeah, and then some of the dumb cliche things I have is kind of like when the dad died, it's like literally Lori was stressing the whole time, like, hey, you know, this guy's dangerous. That's why we're here at my house. And like, I, I know protected. he just walks out like nothing, you know, and, and he opens the window, the door to the cops and everything. I'm just yeah, like, um, like, and then yeah. even earlier, um, when Lori, oh, not Lori, um, the, the granddaughter escapes, she literally runs to the woods. Yeah, I like know. Like, she can't run friend. towards the other cop car or, like, to the house. <laughs> yeah, I know. Me and my friend were laughing at that. We're like, wow, she would run to the freaking dark forest. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just so... I don't know. And it just annoyed me. That part annoyed me, too. But other than that, um, can't really think of anything else. For me, some... I mean, obviously, one of the writers was um, Danny McBride. Obviously, he's hilarious. I, I love that guy, but... Sometimes the comedy fell flat for me. I was just kind of like, okay, like, you know. I didn't find myself laughing that many times. I don't remember. Yeah, just a little bit like when that kid shows up, when he's being babysit, sat or whatever. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was cute, the little kid. I didn't want him uh, to die because earlier we had that the dad and the other son. Like, I, I like that kid. You know, he kind of took initiative. Like, he took the gun and shit. He shot the Professor Loomer's guy, the new or whatever his oh, name is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, he died, I was like, oh shit, like, okay, all right, cool. I thought the little black kid was going to die too, but I don't nah. know how to him. <laughs> yeah, he just kind of ran said, off. fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was super cute. Um, yeah, no, I thought I thought that the fact that the friend died too, like, I thought that um, he would have, they would have shown more of how he killed her, but they yeah. really didn't. But yeah, um, she, she just shows up covered in a... Uh, an homage just, to a ghost story, you know? No, just, yeah, <laughs> I know, right? But yeah, she just her boyfriend gets like crucified. Oh yeah, that guy he was just, I just saw him in uh It Follows. And he got he got killed in that movie too. <laughs> Wait, who does he play in It Follows? It follows he looks he, familiar. He plays like that kid that kinda comes in like in the middle of the story. He's like the Jay? Middle of, huh? He dies, right? His mom yeah. he's the one that gets killed by the mom or something like that? Yeah, like yeah, exactly. Like he kind of like all the time, like he doesn't really believe it, but then like he sleeps with the girl, and like that thing follows him now. And like, by yeah. the way, by the way, this is completely out of subject, but I watched it again just to give it another chance, and I still don't like it. <laughs> All right, guys, say goodbye to Audrey. This is the last review. And Sorry, Audrey. I just, I just had no, to I mean, say that. I just had to say it. <laughs> I mean, movies are subjective, Audrey. I can't no, I crucify know. you. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, oh, I know. No. And like I said, I gave it another shot. I was like, you know what? Yeah. Whatever. Maybe I 
didn't watch it right, but yeah, maybe I missed know. something. Still didn't like it. But anyways, going yeah. back to Halloween. Halloween. Um, <clears throat> um, what was I saying? I'm trying to think. Um, so I thought, what did you think about Michael? Did you think like his he was being merciless? Mer- how do you say merciless? Merciless? Like he was just merciless. showing no mercy. Yeah, he was just yeah. showing no mercy with his kills. I think so. I I feel like. Just 40 years of him being in like imprisoned or in that asylum or whatever, like that build up. And that's why he just automatically started killing people. Cause a lot of people were like, man, like he just started killing for no reason. But like, no, he was in there for a long time. He's just like, he's a serial killer. Like the guy said, he's like a professor Loomis said, like, there's no really no explanation why he kills. He's just pure evil. And I like that too. That's one of the things I like that they don't explain. Oh, he starts to kill because he felt left out in his family. You know, they, they just yeah. Don't, just don't explain no, it, you know? he's just yeah. He's just crazy. He's a serial killer. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and what did you think about Michael's performance? Oh, I liked it. Damn. Um. <sighs> well, didn't Nick he, Castle think, come oh, back? Nick Castle, yeah, he came back for a few scenes, and then there was like another actor. So uh, that was pretty cool to to know that like, the original guy came back. Um, Heck yeah. And but yeah, I loved I love everything about Michael. I loved even when he, in the beginning when he's just there, like he doesn't say anything, and I love that he doesn't say anything. He doesn't need to say anything. What the fuck? He's Stop. just fucking terrifying. <laughs> yeah, and that's what makes him terrifying. He's just it's just a guy that wants to kill his sister, and he's gonna kill whoever gets in his way, you know. And I feel yeah. like that wasn't really ex- explained a lot. Like he doesn't really know where she's at, so I feel like that's why he's kind of looking for her, and that's why yeah. he's just killing like random people, you know. <laughs> uh, but like that one girl that was. Um, was looking outside the window and he comes up behind her and just stabs her in the neck. I thought he was like gonna slice her neck or something, but he like literally no. goes in there. I'm like, oh fuck! Like that was, that was gnarly. <laughs> I know. I was like, damn. Like Michael was just not playing around. He yeah, like, but no. I, I feel like that. I mean, if you think about it, it's explained because like he was there. I mean, that's why I, why I think he just started killing because he was just there, cooked up for forty years. He had to let some steam off, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we're gonna call it. He was just letting some steam off. Letting yeah. some steam off, and I mean, he did kill like a like what five people in the gas station as well. Yeah, for sure. And then um, that lady, I thought that was pretty dope. That was like one of my favorite scenes where he goes into the garage, gets the hammer, bludgeons oh, yeah. that lady to death, and then gets the knife because that's his like yeah, his preferred <laughs> weapon of choice. He was like, yes, and he goes by the baby too. I'm like, oh man, like the baby, but. The baby, he just walks away. <laughs> I know. I'm kind of like, hmm, I wonder why. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I thought about that too. But um, but no. And I think I really liked it because I feel like they did try to keep it to the original. And I feel yeah. like it had that that cheesy 90s set slash 80s movies vibe. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but it still was like enjoyable to watch now. So, um, so I think that's why I liked it. And then, well, obviously the music was super like to the oh original. I mean, it was so good. Started. The it whole gives time, you, like, I was chill. Just, like, fuck yeah! And like, I downloaded the the soundtrack, um, and I stayed in the theater to just to listen to the music. <laughs> Everybody was leaving, <laughs> and yeah. apparently, I didn't know this. I didn't stay for the everything because like I get, they changed the song. Um, but I think right after the credits, like towards the end of the credits, the music stops and like, you just hear him breathing. Like when he's... Oh, like, hey. Yeah, I'm like, oh, fuck that. Like, fuck that. But um, yeah, the score was was beautifully done. Like, oh, On man. point. For sure. I fucking love it, yeah. Is it weird that I kind of wanted to cry like in the beginning? <laughs> when, oh, the, when the credits? And the, when, the, the when the credits come out, yeah, and the song. Like, I, my friend was like, why do you look like you're going to cry? And I was like, because I think I am. <laughs> I was like, like, oh, it's Halloween. <laughs> like, Michael is back. <laughs> yeah, I got really emotional at that part. And I got really emotional in the end. Um, spoilers. I literally wanted to cry. Yeah, I was like, damn, yeah, like, Michael. Like, oh. I was like, Mikey. <laughs> like, he didn't get to kill her. And then the way he just stands there looking at her, like, you're really going to let me die, bitch? Like, after all we've been through? Like, you're really going to let me die? That- I thought that was funny as hell when the the kid that wanted to kiss the, the granddaughter when he before he got killed he's like he's talking to Michael because he did he didn't know it was Michael so he's like, yeah have you ever had a girl that you can't you can't have or oh something yeah like that? I was like oh fuck <laughs> that's that's him <laughs> that's literally him yeah but yeah I thought that was super um super cool I really enjoyed that scene like he's just standing there like this look like. <sighs> I yeah. guess this is where it ends. But I mean, it. Michael. But Michael has survived worse things. So people are saying that he's gonna come back. 
Yeah, but it's not it's not canon anymore. They they just fucked everything it's... up. But I mean, I like I said, I haven't seen them, so it's it, I mean, it's cool that to know that like it's just Halloween and then now this 2018 Halloween. Um, yeah. But uh, besides the score, this, I thought there were some pretty cool shots, especially with Michael. <laughs> I thought the cinematography was really good. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just like a lot of scenes where it's just like him in the knife or something or like him in the moonlight or, you know, like I was just like, damn, like they're getting some good ass shots. Um, like I said earlier, I it was kind of in my negatives where I kind of I wanted more of Michael and Laurie. But that's a, a, one of the big reasons why I like the movie, because I feel like it, it's not sort of like a relationship they have because they don't have dialogue. But you can like just the fact that like Laurie has spent those last 40 years like trying like preparing for the eventual return of Michael and that like she kind of like this is like I've always wanted to make a movie of like a horror movie based and it takes place right after the events of like a horror movie like where you just have like most of your family and friends killed like what do you do now like, you know what I'm saying so I feel like that was kind of in the realm of that like you just spend your whole time like you know preparing and like when you have kids obviously the whole daughter I I, I really like that whole uh, mother and daughter dynamic between mm-hmm. her and Judy, Judy Greer how like she was just like her whole life she was just the same she was just preparing and then she got her daughter taken away and stuff like that. so i like that all the stuff with Lori and her her daughter not so much the granddaughter but her daughter and then with michael that's a lot of stuff that i really enjoyed yeah that was pretty legit yeah i enjoyed it too um like you said i did like the the background that they show that she's like you know, was really good at shooting guns and she had all these crazy mannequins in her house because she was yeah. just prepared for that. Um, I really enjoyed that too. I feel like they, they essentially made her like Sarah Connor. Like when I was watching the movie, I was like, this is essentially <laughs> Sarah Connor. She's badass. Like, yeah, uh, she's Jamie Lee Curtis looks, looks, looks awesome. You know what I'm saying? Like with all those guns mm-hmm. and shit. Um, yeah. But yeah, she, she, was... made, she made a killer comeback. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, she did. Um, but I mean, overall, like I said, I would highly recommend this movie, especially around this time in, in Halloween and stuff like that. Um, I'm probably, if I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna have plans for Halloween, but uh, I'll probably go watch it again. You know, um, yeah, I definitely want to go watch it again. But I mean, um, if I had a score of this movie, I, I'd give it an eight out of ten. Um, it was at eight point five for me, but now looking at some other things that you know, then I just put it on, down to an eight but i mean i still highly recommend it and that's a pretty good score in my opinion <laughs> um, yeah i give it a i give it the same thing a solid eight um yeah. just for overall enjoyability i really enjoyed it yeah and i feel like yeah it's not in any means um <laughs> like a bad movie or anything like that it's, i think it's one of the most i would still give like hereditary the edge over this one um but yeah well yeah and like i feel like it was one of those movies that stuck with me and that's always a good thing because it's pretty rare when a movie can stick with me like a scary movie i mean um and this one i did find myself kind of like spooked like i was like like i had to come home and i was like oh my god it's dark (laughs) yeah the shape is coming for me the boogie yeah yeah so i give it props because it did it it did yeah it, it, it stuck with with me for a minute yeah so. and then i feel like um there's i think they were able to get a lot of tension filled like i didn't really get scared but again like there's a lot of tension filled moments especially at the end when Lori's like going around the house trying to look for him and shutting oh, the doors yeah. i'm just like yeah. damn where is he gonna be <laughs> so thought, yeah he's a big guy <laughs> yeah he is um <laughs> but yeah um I think that's going to be it for me and Audrey. Let us uh, know what you guys thought of the movie in the comment section down below. Uh, and if you guys want to follow us outside of YouTube, yes, can at the real talk talk with two K's on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, yeah, Audrey, anything else you want to say? No, that was pretty much it. Um, I just want to know what people thought about it. So they can leave it in the comments. I want to yes. know. Yes, for sure. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, we'll see you at the movies. Peace.